We don't have a max length for name, nor do we have a max length for email address or message. So you, you're going to need to leave, use the strlen function to um, see uh, what size these values are at. Uh, you could say set a, a, a message size of a thousand, so no more than a thousand or two thousand characters. Email address, I'd say no more than fifty characters, and name, I'd say no more than thirty characters or twenty-five at a push. So um, you can go inside your code and you can um, use an if statement to check the length of each thing. In fact, we may as well do that now. So uh, let's say um, inside here, if we wanted to uh, check the string length. Uh, let's go ahead and um, after we've checked for empty, um, I'm going to say if strlen of contact name is greater than, um, so we, we said about 25 for that, uh, then we want to return an error. So uh, if strlen of contact name uh, is greater than 25. Um, we can we can put these all in in the same um, in the same string for now, just to save a bit of time. In the same condition, I mean, to save a bit of time. So if the string length of contact name is greater than 25, um, or the string length of um, contact email is greater than 50, or the string length of uh, contact text is greater than 1000 for example then we want to echo out an error now I would indent the rest of my code um, because we're, what we're going to do is we're going to say else and then run the rest of this code here um, if uh, we uh, don't receive an error um, let's just work out where to put this we've got an if here and if here so that is going to go, um, I hope all fields are required, that is going to go in here. So I would indent all of this code here, but this unfortunately this text editor that I'm using on cPanel at the moment uh, forbids me to indent code quickly. So I'm just going to uh, keep it messy uh, for now, but always remember to properly indent your code. Okay, so echo and uh, we want to say, uh, sorry, max length for each field uh, exceeded or for some field has been exceeded now why are we giving such a general um, error message um, let's just go ahead and test this out beforehand oh sw swapping tabs around there um, okay so let's uh, type loads and loads of characters into here and loads and loads and loads of characters into here and then we'll just say hi in the uh, error mess in the message. Sorry, click send. Sorry, max length for some field has been exceeded. Okay, so now what we want to do is inside our uh, HTML is we want to set max length on depending on what we've done here. So we've got twenty five for name, fifty for email, and a thousand for our uh, text area. So let's go ahead and do this uh, for name. Max length equals twenty five. Contact email max length equals 50 and for the text area max oops sorry max length equals 1000 so now what we're doing is we're forbidding on the HTML uh, for a user to enter anything more than the characters we've specified so if you watch me just randomly type stuff in here now it stopped I'm still typing and it's not working so the only way that we're ever going to produce this error message that we've defined in here is if the user somehow tries to cheat this and uh, remove these max lengths by storing the file and submitting the data from their local computer uh, by saving the HTML file and resubmitting it or from a server but either way so uh, we've created that error message just for a, a bit of security so we don't get a lot of um, uh, sort of mail through with uh, long character long uh, string lengths in there uh, the other thing to bear in mind is that you might want to add a capture uh, a capture um, how do we say a capture form um, or a, a security validation image however you want to describe it and the reason for this is you have bots that will go around and they will pick up on things like this and they will send you junk so there is a tutorial um, on the new Boston's channel that I've created uh, with a GD image um, library and that allows you to create a, a um, 
capture image if you like or a security image so go and have a look at this but that's just a few security warnings uh, about this code as it is um, it will allow bots to submit it because we don't have any ca ca validation characters that we can type in okay so that's basically a contact form um, in PHP um, sorry that we've used, been using a horrible uh, text editor and we haven't been able to indent properly uh, but I do recommend you always indent and take into account the security issues that I've also spoken about on this video as well.